Thank you. Alicia, how are you? Hi, Scott. I'm well, and you? Yeah, good, thank you. The sun's out in London, which is always a nice It treat. is. I'm here as well. Oh, are you? Oh, okay, good, good, good. It's always a treat when the sun's out sometimes. It doesn't yeah. always happen in London. <laughs> yeah, especially when you sit in a room. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, want to go outside. Yeah. I can see it. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Uh, I watched the first episode this morning and really enjoyed it. But I'm not I'm not someone that likes to binge watch. I like the way that this show is going to be, where it's like Take one, your time. one a week. I like that. I like that. Are you are you a binge watcher or do you I'm prefer a binge one watcher. a week? Oh, you are. OK. Yeah, I'm all or nothing. So <laughs> if I'm, I'm like, there are some shows I really want to watch, but they are on season six. And I'm like, how? Because I know I'll just be gone for a few days, you know? Um, I just can't stop whenever I start. So yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I like to jump on shows that, yeah, just started or have like one season because I know I can do that in one day. Yes, very true. I like, um, but then I, maybe I'm old fashioned that I like one a week. I like the anticipation. I but like then how? Show. How do you, how do you, yeah. How do you manage? Also, there is so much content out there that it's kind of good that there's so much to watch that maybe you watch one and then watch the next one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just yeah. old fashioned. <laughs> It's like reading a book it's like I wouldn't I couldn't never read three books at the same time so I think it's the same with a show I'm like I want to finish one thing and then I can move on to the next one indeed now let's talk about your show which is which is fantastic um there's been very very many different versions of, of Elizabeth over the years on film and tv and stuff like this but this feels like it's a section of her life that we haven't seen before so that was that yes. the lure for you that it was something different and something that you could bring you put your own stamp on yeah, I think it was uh, that that was kind of like the only way as well, because otherwise, you know, so many incredible a actresses have have portrayed Elizabeth, Elizabeth um, the first before. Plus, she was such an incredible character, you know, so I think otherwise it would have been way too intimidating. And this way it was, you know, it's a time that we haven't seen that much. It's also. I think it's like the best way to bring a the person behind that great monarch uh, closer, you know, to make her more relatable because concentrating on her younger years, you know, there is so much more than just politics, than just, you know, I don't know, duty, but there is like all these challenges we all know, you know, growing up um, and being torn between brother and sister and family and duty and love and duty and it, it's just um, so much more and so much more relatable and modern therefore as well and I think that's what I found so intriguing about the the scripts by Anya yeah and you you have this wonderful thing obviously you were shooting with the pandemic going on around you but what's it like for you guys I asked this to Jamie about when you step into like the real locations, you've got all these amazing costumes on, then you step into these castles. You must feel very immersed in the world, almost like stepping back in time a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think the whole setting, plus the whole, um, I don't know, feel of it was so realistic and so um, historically accurate that we there was there was no imagination needed you know it was just like we were very much spoiled um it it was just you know I wore six different layers every day um that gave you the posture you know they actually had uh the the locations were insane even when they build like uh different sets in a studio they would resemble that so we would actually have a ceiling and you couldn't even tell whether we were in a location or in the studio um everything was lit naturally and in a way that you can shoot 360 degrees so uh it was only candles I mean the, when we blew our noses at night it was just like black coming out <laughs> it was just so much um shit in the air but it was just like it was just so real you know um if something happened on the other side of the room that was uh interesting the camera would just pan around so there was no time off there was no I'm not in shot I'm not you know I'm not giving up 100 that just didn't exist because you were always on all day um and I think all of that made it feel so incredibly real and everyone was so invested in it 
Um, plus, we felt so incredibly lucky to be able to work while uh, this, this horrific pandemic happened. Um, yeah, so I think all of that made it an incredibly uh, intense and, and special experience. Fantastic. Well, listen, I wish you all the best for the show. Thank you so, so much for your Thank time. You. I wish you all the best. Thanks so much. Thank you, Scott. Nice Cheers. to meet you. You too. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey.